So welcome along everybody to the breakdown slash bridge episode. Today, it's gonna be relatively simple compared to the last episode. As I've described through many track from scratch series, uh, the breakdown is all important. It's to bring the energy down and then build it up to the second drop or whatever the hell you're thinking about unleashing on the listeners in um, the second drop or chorus. Or third drop, or oh, fuck it, fourth drop, I don't know. I've got a bunch of ideas, so we should probably get going before I forget them all. Anyway, I'm hyped, I'm loving this series so far, it's mean. If you are new around here, this is what we have so far. I'm gonna play it from the build up into where we're working on today, break slash bridge, so. Oh my god, sick. And yeah, that is where I accidentally started the last episode, and I was like, no, I should probably save it for an entirely new episode. And that's what this one's all about. I'm debating whether to keep these vocals in this section or bring them into the break slash bridge, so I'm going to quickly mute them. That shortcut is zero, by the way. My only concern is it's sounding a little empty if I leave them out, so I have no clue. And I'm gonna fucking delegate that to later on in the episode, so yeah. What is this? Oh yeah, old idea, that didn't work. I did want the up and I did want the Reese bass in here, so I just need to double check this is the same Reese from the verse. Sweet, um, this is the same up. Okay, it's shifting an octave down. I was like, why isn't the up notes changing? But they're playing the same chord for the same note, which is... G. Yeah, that's just the scale tool. Ignore that, one's G and one's A sharp. The scale tool is locking it into key, so don't worry. I kind of want to create a new art to do this though, so what, what are we going to do? We're going to load up another massive. <laughs> I've already got so many. Um, okay, copy this MIDI across. And probably need to copy across this up and the scale tool. And... That's alright. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Before we just leave it as that. Okay, I kind of like that, so we're gonna make that a macro. And we're also gonna link this to like a low pass folder. I reckon that could work pretty well. Um, but of course, everything is not linked because it's not a new initialize preset and massive because massive be like that sometimes i realized i didn't explain what i did i basically turned up all the filter settings so yeah this oscillator which we're using is going to filter one which has the low pass filter on it it's running series that doesn't really matter turn up the volume on filter one and make sure this mix is all the way to filter one and yeah anyway we're going to link this macro also to the cutoff filter so when we increase it, it should hopefully amp up the attack and the cutoff, so. And I've done it the wrong way, fuck. <laughs> okay, that seemed to work. So as we ramp up the macro, the sound is a lot sharper, it's a lot clearer. And uh, where is the dimension expander? Do we add another one? 
Oh, we can't hear it. Nice. We should get an LFO on the pitch of the OS2. Is that too weird? Uh, one way to test it out. Alright, here's the macro, here's the macro. Where's the sweet spot? All right, we need EQ and we need reverb ASAP. EQ, cut off the low end, because that is no. And what, what do we say, reverb? Yeah. Should I just... It can be an episode of macros, why not? Command G or Control D. Chuck that into a group, open up the macro settings, map the dry wet to one, and map the decay time to one. How we're gonna ramp it up, we're gonna start with this value. By the time the end of the macro is doing its thing, <laughs> it should be 28 seconds, and this will be like 40 to 93-ish. I don't know, we'll see how that sounds. Copy across this face and fingers crossed. I can't hear it. Oh yeah, let's bring this in octave down. Actually, let's have this playing twice. This would be sick. I also want to low pass this. I feel like we already got a filter and we do indeed. Yeah boy. Uh, <laughs> so let's create some automation. Ramp that in. Overdrive. Two overdrives. Three overdrives. Okay, that started out good, um, and then it got way too distorted. We're gonna ease up on the distortion as it gets louder. Easy peasy. Might have to put the overdrive before the reverb. Actually, we have one overdrive before the reverb and two after, cause, yeah. <laughs> and another thing I want to experiment around with, not making these doing the pulsating bass is just like a solid. Sounds all right. What we don't need is the rampant uh, attack on it. So click that and automate that down. Now oh, where's the, has it got glide? Maybe we ramp up the glide. Cause uh, you need a little bit of slur overlapping to initiate the glide. I think. I could be changing shit. Oh yeah! Uh, we need more noisier, as in like beat frequency. I'll show you what I mean really quickly. Um, so this, change that to square D.
almost getting there, almost getting there. Glide, hell yeah. Um, voices, one. Oh, that feels weird. Two freaking synths doing exactly the same shit. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe this needs to be square D as well. Fucking, yep, yeah, leave it, she'll be right. That kind of sums up that section. Moving on to the next section, which is gonna be the second part of the break slash build up, if you hadn't already guessed. Yeah, we add in this bit. And the build up. But we strip out the drums, so it is more like a verse. So, verse two. Copy and paste. Yes, okay, and this will be build two. Now, I'm not going to lie, obviously with the series I've been listening to a lot of 2010, 2011 era dubstep to kind of like get inspiration and see how they structured things. A lot of it was like once they got to the middle point, <laughs> just copy across the first bit and paste on the second. Boom, five minute song, easy done. So there was quite a lot of that going on. There was also quite a lot of uh, like low pass elements, big effects, arps like this, re-spaces like this as well, which suit really well and lend itself to that classic sound. So. I've done the best of both worlds. I've come up with a Reese section for this bit and I've copied and pasted the second verse, but I'm going to make a slight adjustment to it. So I'm going to get rid of the drums like I said before. Oh, a brain wave. This section comes in. Yes, fam. Where'd you go? Oh, I did the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Classic Sam. And look past this out. I'm getting out of sight. Oh, let me change something in here. Mute those. There it is. Oh, yes, the build up of dreams. God, that's a long place. Okay, something backgroundy effects, I think I know, I think it might be the core thing, came in, do do do, and then just get the scene. I don't know where it went, so I'm assuming some automation is to blame for that. It's either you or you. Does that happen in the verse? Mad. Nah, what that shit low pass. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Losing my mind. Can you see the 
They've gone low past this. I feel like there's a lot of like low frequencies happening. Uh, we need to keep that flow happening, so I'm gonna low past this. I hope that it works. And high past this for the bands. Could low past it, but I feel like then too many things are being low past. Yeah. Oh, this is a classic, everybody. This is a classic technique. Where is the drums? Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Group them together. Low pass. The kick snare coming in. Now, do we want the sub bass doing the do do do, or do we want it doing that? We hear it with and without. Let's hear it from the start, actually. That's so much freaking bass. Really want it for that kind of high mid sound. Oh! Oh no, we have to listen to it again. My bad. I was making the calls on which octave to have different bass notes at. Half a second before the bass note was placed, I was like, shit, shit. Didn't make it in time, but you know. Nah, too low. Hold up, I feel like I got a fatty resave somewhere. Instrument rack. Oh my god, it's got driver. Oh no, this could be carnage. <laughs> and ozone. Oh, there goes the CPU. <laughs> guitar hero. No, not guitar hero, guitar rig. Alright, let's see what this sounds like. If it will fucking play. Is it too quiet? That's what I wanted it to do. Ignore the slight uh, detour, guys. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh, driver's filth. I feel like this could be too heavy for this section, so we could keep our operator bass, which we made before, for this. Yeah, that suits. This bit needs a huge re-space, which I'm loving sick. I feel like I've cheated in a way by introducing this, so I will bust down the effects quickly for everybody. Very basic sound and operator, nothing too crazy at all. Just a few bits of FM happening, a little pitch envelope like that, that is whack. Um, different routing. Driver is the main driving force behind this. 
by Native Instruments. Um, chorus, make it a little bit wider. Guitar rig, don't know what that's doing. Oh, checking it through like an amp simulator or something. EQ8, because it's got a little bit too much mid. Saturate, of course, you guys know me. OTT, you guys know me. OTT just squishes it together in all the right areas. That is beautiful. Gate, which we're not using for this instance because it is loud enough. Um, a little wide scoop. And I wonder what Ozone is doing. Making it wide as well. Why not just check Microshift or something? Good. Yeah, this is the button. Re-enable automation. So hopefully it should just record this automation I'm about to write in over this bit. Yes! Okay. Oh, subtle, subtle, subtle. Bring it in. Oh fuck, there was too much at the end. Oh yeah, that's the thing about driver, if you like, stop playing notes, it does. <laughs> Promptly mute that once that sound is over. It's exciting, it's sounding fresh as Oh shit shit whoa Too much too much too much too much Nah nah that's the one that's the money Cut the check <laughs> Oh we can add this bit in the break yes too exciting Yeah! The first note sucked, the rest are uh, all good. Another one. Anyway, what we need to do is the ghost and reverb effect, which I have done many a times on this channel. It's the classic reverb into vocal effect. Um, how do you do it? You need to reverb and you need to reverse dim vocals. So, <laughs> resampling, record, solo the two vocal channels. Boom. We need that note. Yeah, okay, let's go with that note. We need some reverb. And a lot of decay time. Hear that tail end? That's what we want reversing up into this verse 2. So I'm going to freeze flatten that. It should bounce it to audio. Why is it bounce it to audio? Why can't it be rendered to audio? I feel like bounce is a logic term and we're using Ableton at the moment. <laughs> so, let's chop this up, unwarp it, reverse it. Hear what it sounds like. Not too bad, could do with a bit more reverb. Reverb. That is way too quiet. Kind of just like builds up to nothing, uh, so we're gonna delay that, and hopefully it will sound like it continues on a bit. Do we keep this going? One. We could have that duh, 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 in the background playing the same notes as this, so we could go G, G, A sharp, C, G, A sharp, C. Uh, oh, this could be confusing. Oh, 
What could be sick? G. Oh, this could work. But I forgot the first one. There. Do we bring back the huge re space? Do we just have the respace? That is the question. Oh, this could be spice. We need way more. So I'm gonna adjust the fine pitch right at the end and hopefully if I crank it up just a little bit, it will, oh no, that's not a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Do I yeet it? Is that too weird? Yes! I'm worried we've got too much low end mid and respace goodness in the build up slash breakdown bridge. I feel like with the drop, it's the big impact of the whole track. Gotta have heaps of frequencies, cover like most of the frequency spectrum, go in on sound design and classic bass wobbiness. Um, we've got the build up and it's just like occupying heaps of the low end, which we're kind of saving for the drop. So the drop can have more impact when the sub kicks in. If we had too much bass in the verses and build up, it might detract away from the energy of the drop. So that's the um, kerfuffle we're in at the moment. I am looking for the amount of pitch bend I can do. I feel like it could be this, so I'm gonna go 12. So hopefully when we do some pitch bend in here, it doesn't fuck it up too much. Go to 12, go to 12, go on off. I don't know, I might just sleep on that idea. I'm not a huge fan of it yet, but it, it's got potential is the main thing. By the time I end this video, I'll be either like, this is trash or, yo, this is amazing, I'm glad I did that. Break slash bridge, done. Verse two, done. Bird up two, thinking about it. <laughs> Must mean it's time for the end of the episode and the final listen. So yeah, if that means the end of the episode is near, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Had heaps of fun on this episode, a lot less pressure than the previous episode. Conclusion drops a whack, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, time to play it from start to finish. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next episode for... Oh shit, it's dropped too, the pressure's back on. But yeah, I mean, that's in the next episode. So in the meantime, start to finish, here we go. Have a fantastic day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>